Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3 on the Nintendo GameCube, released by LucasArts in 2004, developed by Factor 5. Where do you think you're going, chicken boy? Um, graphically, one of the strongest games on the system, absolutely immense. Now, I'm playing it because I've got the music turned down quite low and I've got the sound effects turned up quite high because obviously my other sort of um, Star Wars videos, I took a lot of them down when they were clamping down on copyright just to be on the safe side and since then, well, not too much happened, so yeah, I thought I'd have another pop at this, also I wanted to have a pop at it because it gives me Ace background to talk about the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 7, where's the infrared thing? That's wicked, mine, I could just sit over like a lazy bastard and cook these chickens from afar. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I can. Right. Although I haven't said that, I should possibly, you can't move in that mode with you. <clears throat> Keep advancing forwards because I'm a sitting duck or chicken and I love the way you can shoot the trees and they just collapse because it does feel quite claustrophobic and it's really satisfying to blow them out of the way and make yourself, you know, an entrance, if you will. <clears throat> Look at him, he looks like he's dancing. No, check out my legs, right? If I press, go forward a bit and then go press backwards like, yay! I don't know that weird Elvis Presley thing or cool Elvis Presley thing, I should say. Now, yeah, before I get onto the uh, the meat to veg of this uh, video, there's something I really want to quickly say, but just seriously, we, we had to nick, because obviously this is the bit where we're Chewbacca and Ewoks approaching the bunker to save them, but we had to nick one of their craft, you know, which is designed specifically to walk, you know, in environments like, oh, sorry, I'm shooting the teddy bears, uh, teddy bears, Ewoks, in environments like this. And specifically since you could not get an AT, AT down that corridor, obviously they were going to have ATST. So, seriously, didn't plan very well, did you? I mean, why didn't seemingly anyone just bring a fucking rocket launcher to the party? Bloody militant rebels, they're all fucking firing their guns wildly in the air, but none of them ever sit down and think a practical plan for, you know, fixing the problem. I love the way the legs fall down afterwards. And I can kill them by walking on them. Nice! I'm a little annoyed that I'm not as well armoured as I thought I would be. Hey, some trees fall over, some trees just out, right? Fucking instantly disintegrate. Oh, there you are, no wonder. Oh, go backwards. No, it's quite hard. But it's actually ganging up on me. Wankers. Animation's brilliant. It's really, really good. There's no denying that. It probably looks like, you know, an ATST. Right, am I hitting you from here? It is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Anyway, new Star Wars trailer. Now, as you know, many of you have watched my channel for a long time now. I'm really not happy about, you know, Disney buying out Lucas. I don't understand why Lucas sold the company, you know. Someone said, well, because he got billions. But let's be honest, the quality of your life, you know, the difference between, what, billions and millions, you ain't gonna notice it, are you? I should have not done that, because I could have twatted me. So I don't, I don't, I don't see that as a valid argument. Um, J.J. Abrams is, you know, directing it. I just, I don't want Star Wars to be in Disney's hands. I just, I don't expect good things from it. So, I was just very underwhelmed, the fact that they got the original cast back. I mean, obviously it was a rose, despite what Lucas said, you know, when they, um, there you go. Nice, despite what Lucas said, uh, you know, when the, the prequel trilogy came out, it was supposed to be a nine-part story. I've got a, um, an annual from 1977 where he says that. And obviously, he left it too late, and they got too old. So, you know, oh, what, we made him? Fucking hell, that was weird and creepy. So, you know, now it's going to happen. It's always seems, it's a bit too late, really, isn't it? You know, I mean, the prequel trilogy was all right. If you take, oh, the bunker's blown up. Let's try that again. Right, all right, shut up. Right, new, new game plan. I'm just going to leg it. Nice. Do I have another gun? There must be another gun. Yes! Now we're cooking on gas. I'm just not particularly used to the GameCube pads. I haven't played it for a while, so I don't find that... There we go. I don't find it particularly, uh, you know, 
intuitive after playing other pads. Anyway, yeah, Pico Trilogy was alright. Nice. No, I don't like that dude. I can't see him. I can't shake him. Sweet. Yeah. But, and I, again, so I wasn't, as I said, I wasn't looking forward to, you know, episode seven. I just thought it was too late to the party and, you know, Disney going to ruin it. But then, I, much like, you know, when the prequel trilogies came out, I was, uh, don't move forward. Thank you. Thank you. This guy, oh, this gun's fucking awesome. Just get it quickly. Thank you. It's a bit clunky to use. Yeah, but when I saw this trailer, I turned into a kid again. A couple of reasons, just the X-Wing skimming. Sorry, people, spoilers. Um, skimming, you know, like a lake. Uh, seeing the Millennium Falcon again, you know, properly just turned me into a child. It was, it was the highlight of, you know, who's fucking shooting at me? It was the highlight of bollocks of the, uh, the teaser trailer for me. The lightsaber that actually kind of, it looked like a cross because the blade comes out, then at the top of the handle, two small blades come out sideways. So it, was just, it was just polished and everything about it just made me basically think, yes, I'm going to go and see this movie. I'm super, super excited for this movie. Fuck, why am I dying? So easily. But yeah, it was weird. The only thing I will say is, right, the jump between the design of the ships from the prequel um, trilogy to, you know, this one, uh, to, sorry, to the, you know, the original trilogy, why if this is 30 years after, why won't this go? Am I out of rounds? Or is it charge up? Yeah, if this is 30 years after, you know, the original trilogy, then I don't understand why the X-Wings look exactly the same while well, there are TIE Fighters in it, because surely, right, that kind of makes sense, because obviously, how much uh, of what I hear is true? This is remnants or the new faction made out of split group of previous, you know, factions of the Empire. I'm stuck in a world of trees. Fuck you, Bilotti. And I can't blow these ones down. Oh, shit. Get out. My fault, my fault. Sorry, sorry. Oh, fucking Abbas Randall's gonna be pissed when they see the state I return this in. Did I just kill myself by stepping on that? The animation was quite nice there, but he just disappeared. Right, one more go. Yeah, so it makes sense that, you know, the possibly the, the re-emergence of the Empire, or whatever, um, that they would have, you know, original looking TIE fires. But I just thought it was a bit odd that the X-Wings looked the same as X-Wings and there wasn't any massive sort of advanced improvement on their design. Because it's 30 years, it's a long time. He says that in military life, in, uh, lifespans, but then just look at, you know, the fact that they saw you use the F-15 in the States, so... Mm. Um, I guess the Force is reborn, obviously the, the light side was re-established in, you know, the original trilogy, so I guess clearly this means that whether they're trying to create, you know, much like the Dark Horse uh, expanded universe comics, they're trying to create, you know, Jedi schools or, you know, obviously re-establish the Jedi Order, but it, clearly that the dark side, I just, I just walked through a tree, the dark side is re-emerging, but yeah, it, it wasn't like, you know, some in-depth um, analysis of it, it was just, do I have to fire my other gun while I want to press this gun to get it to do that? It's been ages since I played this level, yeah. But yeah, I, I you know, don't know if it's based upon much of the uh, external or extended, um, you know, universe stuff, much of by Dark Horse, who did do, you know, stories after that featured Luke and Han. Again, I'm not really having the original cast in it, although Harrison Ford's role is quite cut down now, I believe, because he broke his foot, didn't he, on a dodgy Millennium door step. But yeah, it just... I'm super psyched for it, and it's simply because, as much as I liked or tolerated some of, but enjoyed other parts more so, of the uh, prequel trilogy, there's no denying that just, just seeing the Millennium Falcon alone and hearing that iconic music and seeing X-Wings again is almost made me, it's just cancelled out my, don't be such a cynical bastard, Dave, you got, it's got, it, I felt like a child again watching it, you know, because obviously Star Wars was such a big part of my childhood and those are iconic ships and I think yes yeah, it's, it's cheap as it sounds that's what's just turned my opinion around on it so anyway yeah if you see this game it's it's absolutely worth it some of the ground levels when you're, you're a person are a bit ropey but some of the ones like this and like the speeder bike section are absolutely superb and the space battles are brilliant and there's an absolute ton of unlockable playable you know segments from the original movies such as this because obviously this isn't just set in this 
you know, on this time period. But yeah, I thoroughly recommend it. And I paid three pounds for mine. But anyway, yeah, also, what are your thoughts? Are you looking forward to, you know, the new Star Wars movie? Or were you like me, which is, oh, it's Disney, it doesn't work for me. But then ultimately, the minute you saw this amazing teaser trailer, it changed your mind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.